Now, to set up a positive stop on the knee levers requires a little bit of forethought. First of all, you've got to decide how much of a change you want the knee levers to make on what strings. And let us just presume for a moment that you want to change on strings uh, 1 and 5. Then you insert the screws into, say if, we, if, we, if we're sharpening 1 and 5, then we ins insert the screws into the holes for 1 and 5. And then tightening up the movement of this so it doesn't move at all on the adjustments so that this is solid and I shall, I shall move until I can get it in the solid position this is the bar this has to be tightened up until it's absolutely solid and can't move and this is the part that's not described in the manual very well but we tighten up the bar at that point now now that can't move any further it's, it's fully in then we insert the screw into the hole to either flatten or sharpen and let's just presume for a moment we're going to sharpen a given string of uh, let's go to strings one and four for instance we put a screw into the holes for sharpening that string one and the second hole is for flattening so it's string one for sharpening the first hole there we put a screw in there at the moment we're not making contact with the actual changer and that's good and say we want to also sharpen string four so we put a screw into the hole for sharpening string four remembering now that this is in solid it can't move we've screwed it right the way in we go to string four that's one flat two flat three flat four sharp there so that's us now set up for strings one and four now we have no contact we can see here that the changer arms aren't the part of the changer isn't moving and we can feel the contact with the screw when it actually touches it now comes the tricky bit Right, pause it a second. We've got the bar Wait a here. minute. That's it, okay. So, we've got the bar here, tight, it can't move. Not like the other ones, they can move up and down. The reason for that is to be obvious in a while. This bar is adjusted on these screws at either end, so it can't move. Now we've got the screws in ready. And we want to say sharpen the first string, a semitone. And we want to sharpen this string a tone. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's those two strings adjusted to sharpen. What we need to do now is to back off these screws until the strings return to their original pitch might seem a convoluted way but it's totally necessary and we back these off evenly backing off until we can feel a little bit of play quite yet okay now we've got play we've got play here so we know it's not engaging until the pedal is actually pulled see that now we can take that amount of play out to a degree leaving a little in so there we go that's neither string being affected and when we press the pedal not going the full distance 
at the moment so we need to get further on the travel it needs to travel further the amount of travel on the pedal it's going to be adjusted there and it's zero point on the pedal is adjusted there so and that then we'll take our two streams to a semitone up and a tone up my adjustment is incorrect there at the moment but that's, that's how we actually set the raise and lower. Then we have to go obviously to the amount of travel on the pedals to make sure that that goes in fully. And as I say the travel on the pedals is adjusted by your points along here and the amount of adjustment on this rod also governs the amount of tra travel. So At this point in time, this pedal needs to travel a good half inch further, so if I can readjust this way, that's nearly correct, I still don't have sufficient travel. So I do need To adjust it for the pedal to travel further still. Okay that's just about correct now. We would still need to actually shorten this. This, this length is too long so I've got to shorten it by undoing that and going tighter on there. I've obviously adjusted it incorrectly. <coughs> 